I'm going in with the sh whoa, making a mess. Making a big mess. Hi friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, hello, my name is Joanne, and I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, today's video is a requested video. I know, I never do requested videos. I don't get a lot of requests for videos, but one of our friends here on this channel asked me to do a look using my Copacetic Cosmetics Summer eyeshadow palette that I created. I will leave that video linked down below if you do not know what I'm talking about. But basically when I did that video, I did a random number generator to figure out which shades I should use. And she asked in the comments if I could do my own look with it picking the colors that I would personally choose. So in today's video, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be using my Copacetic Cosmetics Summer Palette, and I'm going to be making a look with it using colors that I choose personally, not a random number generator. So I also have quite a few makeup items that I haven't really had a chance to use yet. So I think I'm going to be dipping into some new products that I have that don't really warrant their own video. I just have them kind of in my collection and I haven't really got to play with them yet. So I think I'm gonna be playing with some of those today as well. So if you're excited to see the look that I come up with using my summer palette from Copacetic Cosmetics, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. I'm going to start off with my eyes because that is what she requested and then if if you guys want to see what I do to my face then you can keep watching after I finish the eyes but I'm going to start off with the shade Sun Glow which is this beautiful orange shade and that's going to be my base color I did not prime my eyes I actually preferred the look on the non non primed eye last time so I'm going in on my bare eye I just have moisturizer on my face right now nothing else and as you can see, my skin, it's not happy right now. I'm not having a good time. I'm not having a good time. I love getting video requests because honestly, as a small creator, I just kind of do random stuff. You know, like I just kind of do what I'm interested in and what I think you guys might like. But honestly, it's a shot in the dark. I have no idea what you guys like to see. I can only go off of like my video views that I can see like what you guys actually like. So it is very exciting when you do get a request for a video. So I will do my best to provide those for you. That was a very powdery shade, very powdery. I'm gonna just blend this out. I'm going to deepen things up in my outer corner with firewood. My looks are increasingly becoming very fall, winter like. <laughs> I am trying to keep it summery, but I cannot help it. I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for sweaters, I'm ready for campfires, I'm ready for all of the things that fall brings. For maximum impact, I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Primer on the inner and middle part. On the middle part, I'm taking Bonfire, which is this copper shade, just on my finger, and dabbing. And on the very inner portion, por why did I say that was so weird? Inner portion of my eye, I'm going in with Pollen, the shimmery yellow shade. Okay, I'm going to start on my face and base makeup and then we will continue on with the lower lash line after that. For primer today, I'm going in with the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I have not had a chance to properly use this. I don't know how much to take, so I'm just going in with that much. Smells sweet like candy. I 
I have been obsessed with the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Long Wear Foundation. <laughs> That's a mouthful, but I have been wearing this every single day since I got it and I tried it out in my Bailey Sarian video, which of course I will leave linked down below for you, but yeah, I have been using it every single day. I love it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't notice anything different with the, like, with the primer and everything. I just mm, don't really notice much. I mean, maybe my pores are a little smaller. Maybe, I, I'm, I can't really tell. That's just as good as it's gonna get. Sorry. Today's blush is the ColourPop Foxy blush that I tried out in one of my recent videos. I'm going for a very orange autumnal look, autumnal look today. So I figured this orange blush would be the way to go. So, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm feeling like a pumpkin goddess right now. Okay, loving that. For highlighter, I am going in with the Candied Peach from Sydney Grace. I also recently tried this out in a recent video. I will also link it down below, but spoiler alert, I loved it, so I'm trying it again today. I am, obs like, my most recent obsession, loose highlighters. Yep, that's it, loose highlighters. Okay, before we go any further on the face, I mostly just have to put my lips on now, but let's finish the eyeballs. I'm going in with the shade Murky Waters, which is this like green brown shade. And I'm going on the outer, lower outer portion of my eye. Just stamping that in, kind of diffusing it into the other colors. Okay. On the lower inner, I'm going in with s'mores. What the? <laughs> Great. I'm going in with s'mores on the lower inner shimmery brown shade. For mascara, I'm going in with the Act Natural Defining Mascara from ColourPop. I recently unboxed this as well. Might as well give it another try. Haven't used it since. I thought it was okay. I just like honestly can't remember how many coats I needed, so... It's honestly okay if you like your lashes to be like, Pah! but not very voluminous, just long and kind of spidery. But if you like that effect, then this might be good. Okay. For lips, I'm going in with the Odin's Eye Liquid Lipstick in Ripe Papaya. I unboxed this months ago, and I think this is like the most perfect fall red-orange shade. So that's what I'm going in with today. Oh my God. The Pumpkin Queen. Okay, that was super tricky to put on, a little messy. I need some gloss. It's a very dry formula. So I'm going in with the Profusion Juicy Lip Tint in orange. <laughs> this is called Curious Coral. Yeah, I need some of this. Orange everything. Ooh. Oh yeah, that formula is so dry. My lips just like immediately dried up. <sighs> nice kind of smells like candy <laughs> okay uh, and that is the completed look so here you go I really hope you enjoyed it this is the look I came up with on my own without using the random number generator I really hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think down below Give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.